Hi, boys and girls. We're back for our second uh, lesson on Yokut's notes. So you have your Yokut's book here that you'll need to do this. On the first page, it just says Yokut's Indians. And when you turn, you have your bullets on history notes. Um, and then you're going to turn to the next page. And this one you're going to title Yokut's Dress. I have it here at the top of the screen. And then you're going to divide your page um, half for men and the other half for women. So on the screen, I have it divided left and right, but in my paper book here, I actually have it divided by top and bottom. So you choose how you want to divide your paper, title one uh, men, one women, pause the video and then hit play when you're ready and your paper is organized. All right, we're gonna start with the men. And here are some things about the Yogat's men. So they had long hair, tied and hung over their shoulders. Um, kind of like I'm wearing my hair now, but they would tie it maybe with a leaf or rope or twine of some kind over their shoulders, but they all had long hair. They had a headband with feathers. Some of them might wear a beaded necklace. They wore no shoes. And then this one is my favorite. It is written actually in the Yokut's language. It's pronounced nol ich un. It's fun to say. And it is a breech cloth skirt. Now remember, Yokuts lived long ago. They did not dress like men and women do today. So the men um, covered themselves, but it was with a skirt, not with um, pants or shorts that we would think of. All right, that's it for men. So we're moving to the box for women. And the women also had long hair. Um, they had it with bangs. Now, I don't have bangs, and usually if we were in class, I would point out all the female students that have bangs. So I'm trying to think of my students that have bangs. I know Jennifer has bangs. Um, and I'm thinking maybe she's the only one in my class, but you might, if I'm missing someone from my class, I'm sorry. Um, but I bet there are some girls in the other classes that also have bangs. Um, next, they also would wear a headband with feathers. And they too had beaded necklaces. But they also wore earrings. Um, they had no shoes like the men. Now, if it was winter time, they would uh, have some foot coverings sometimes, but for the most part, no shoes. Now, here is what the Yokuts women wore in their language. It was called a chon ish un, and that is what we would know as a dress with a shorter skirt, but they were fully covered. And then the last thing is um, hanging from the bottom of their dresses. They had um, balls of asphaltum that hung on their skirts. And asphaltum comes from the word uh, asphalt, which is what is the blacktop is made of. So um, like little balls of tar, they would um, roll them up and they were sticky so they could um, stick them as a decoration onto the bottom of their skirt, maybe with fringe. So once you have that, you have all of the information for the Yokut's dress for this page. And I'll see you for the next video and the next page of notes.